Hi, I'm so glad you're here today. It's Maria from Still Dreaming Homestead, and I have a story for you. It's a very special story. It's one that I used to tell my three sons, and they loved it. It was a very, very old book that I found, and it had a story about a little boy named Barney and his puppy doggy. Well, this is about a circus. Have any of you heard about a circus? Oh, they are so much fun. Oh, they're really fun. <laughs> He's so excited. And there's all sorts of things to see at the circus. Yeah, like clowns and elephants. Oh yeah, elephants are so much fun. Who's telling the story, you or me? Me? <laughs> so clowns, elephants, uh, lions will be there, monkeys lots of times. It's so much fun. Yeah, that is so much fun. I love a circus. <laughs> He's so crazy. Well, Barney and his puppy doggy, they wanted to go to the circus really bad. So when they were watching, the circus people came to town with all their trailers full of the animals and clowns. And there were trailers that people lived in. And they would do things like, um, they would hang from something called a trapeze and they would swing way up in the air and they could do tricks. Oh, it was just so much fun. And then an exciting thing happened. They began to put up a ginormous tent. Now, some of you might have been camping before, but not in a tent like this. This tent was so huge because in the middle of the tent, they would put on a show and all around the walls inside the tent, they would put up bleachers. That's kind of like chairs that are all stuck together. And then people could, people could what? People could sit on them and they would watch the show. Oh yeah, I want to do that right now. I want... Calm down, please. He's having a very hard time calming down. Well, when the tent was all the way up and everything was ready, Barney and his puppy doggy went to go into the, the doorway of that tent so they could watch the show. Yay! <laughs> so when they got there, the ticket master said, that will be 50 cents. Barney didn't know it was going to cost money. And he, so he stuck his hands into his pockets, but he didn't have any money. And so he told the ticket master about it. And he says, I don't have any money, but I'm very strong. Can I work? so that I can go in? And the ticket master shook his head and he said, I'm sorry, Sonny, but you're too little. Ooh. I know it was so sad. And Barney got a little tear going down his face and he turned around and he walked off and he was followed by his little puppy. And they were walking and walking until they found huge tracks. They were big like this and they were round. And Barney thought, oh, maybe an elephant has escaped and I can catch him and bring him back to the circus. And when I do, I'll get free tickets, free tickets, free tickets. And then he began following him. And he thought, maybe an, 
Rhinoceros has escaped, and I will capture him, capture him and bring him back to the circus. And when I do, I'll get free tickets, free tickets, free tickets. So they followed the tracks, and the tracks led to a wooded place. That's a place where there are big trees, sometimes little trees too. And they kept following the tracks, following the tracks. And the woods began to get thicker, more and more trees close together. And so it began to get dark in there. And Barney began to get a little nervous. Yeah, me too. I was really nervous. I know you were. So as they were walking along, feeling nervous, you know, suddenly they heard a sound. <gasps> they got so scared. And you know what that sound was, really? What was it? It was a bullfrog. A bullfrog's not going to hurt them. So they kept walking. And then they heard another sound. They did? Yes. They heard, ooh, ooh. But you know what that sound was? What? It was only a hoot owl. <laughs> hoot owl can't hurt me. No, a hoot owl can't hurt you. But then something else happened. Oh no, what? What happened? It began to thunder. Boom, boom, boom. And lightning struck and they were running and running trying to get out of there and then all of a sudden they came to the end of the woods and there was a meadow and the Sun was shining and there was a clown and he was sitting at a big tablecloth yes he was and do you know what he was doing? Yeah, I know, because I was there. He was eating a picnic lunch, and it looked delicious. We loved it, but we didn't have one. So, Barney walked up to the clown, because the clown said hi. And Barney told him about wanting to go to the circus. Well, the clown said, sit down and tell you can have, share my picnic lunch with me and tell me all about it. So Barney and his puppy doggy sat down and they began to have a delicious picnic with the clown. There were yummy sandwiches and chocolate cake. Oh, I love that. I know you do. And all sorts of delicious things. And Barney began to tell him all about how he wanted to go to the circus. So did I. Yes, I know you wanted to go too. But when he got there, he found out it cost money and he didn't have any. And he told the ticket master how strong he was, but he didn't know that Barney could be any help at all. So he told him, no, he was too little. And then he told them when they were walking away, how they found these big tracks. And they thought maybe an elephant had escaped or a rhinoceros and they could bring him back. And the clown laughed and he said, look at my feet. I have really big feet. You were following my footprints. And they all laughed at that. And the clown said, you didn't find an elephant. And you didn't find a rhinoceros, but you did find me. And you can bring me back and get free tickets. 
So that's what they did. They went back to the circus and Barney and his puppy dog, he got free tickets to go in and see the circus. And it was so exciting. Yeah, it was. There was music that sounded like this. Da 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 I love that music. And they watched the lions roar and somebody was had a whip and he was making them stay away from him and they would stand up on their back feet. It was very crazy. And he watched the people on the tra uh, trapeze swinging and it was like this. They swing through the air with the greatest of ease on the magical, magical trapeze. And they watched clowns and it was so funny. There was a car there it was just a little car. And then all of a sudden, they could see that there were clowns inside. So it went driving around the circle and beeping its horn, which was a very funny sounding horn. And then the clowns began to climb out. And there were one, two, three, four, five, six, clowns in that little tiny car. Could hardly believe it. Yeah, they must have been squished. Yes, I think they were very squished. So Barney had so much fun. And while he was there, he got a bag of peanuts and something to drink. Yeah, and I got a hot dog. Yeah, I bet you like that. Oh, it was delicious. So, at the end of the circus, Barney was so tired, he fell asleep. And so the clown picked him up to carry him home. Yeah, and I was walking with him, too, to show him the way. That was so nice of you. Yeah, I'm a very nice dog. Well... When they were walking out, Barney's little bag of peanuts began to spill and there was a little mouse and the little mouse grabbed a peanut because the mouse was very hungry. He went, mm, mm, a peanut, what a treat. And the clown took Barney back to his house and told his parents what a nice little boy he was and how he had got to go to the circus. And his parents thanked him because they thought that was so nice. And then the little doggy, I went to sleep. <laughs> he went to sleep too because he was very tired. So I hope you liked this story. And I'm going to put it so some older kids can hear it too. So you can even leave me a message if you like it. All right. Well, I want to remind you, I love you. I really do. But more important than that, God loves you and he always will. So if you like this, make sure and ask your mom and dad if they will subscribe to my channel and share it with other people they think they would like. And if you leave your name, just your first name, I will say hi to you on the next video. All right, good night, God bless.